check out our merchandising store, visit shop.hallysimmer.com. Hello everyone and welcome back as we step into the new year join us for the usual weekly exploration of the latest in helicopter flight simulation. Without further ado, let's get started. Welcome to the weekly flyby. Joshua Cohen decided to commemorate the new year differently with the release of a new helicopter for Microsoft Flight Simulator. What a way to start the year if you are a Microsoft Flight Simulator user, Cohen Simulation released the R66 for this sim. As usual, the product is pack filled with very nice features and Joshua had the help of actual R66 pilots to get the flight model right. You can check the features list and find where to get it in our article, link is in the video description as usual. Adding a hydraulic damper to their rudder pedals is one of the modifications virtual helicopter pilots usually look at more often. It normally implies users searching for the said damper and finding a way to attach them to their pedals. Verpal decided to help us all and they have released their own damper upgrade kit. The kit is compatible with pretty much all of their line of pedals. In fact, the only rudder pedals not compatible with this upgrade is the Verpal VPC Ace Torque, which was specifically made for helicopters. You can order the damper kit right away from any of the three Verpal stores, US, Europe or UK, and you can also get 15% off all Verpal control products until January 14th, 2024, so check it out. Find the link in the video description. FG UK, the team behind most of helicopters in flight gear, is back with another release. This time is the British built WS61 Sea King. As FG UK states, this is quite a different helicopter from the American counterpart with different engines, British made anti submarine warfare systems, and a fully computerized flight control system. And of course, it was built by Westland. The company also developed a specific version that could transport troops called the Commando. Check our article for the full features list and the link to get these free warbirds. Of course, just look into the video description. At the helisimmer.com shop, you will find a lot of different merchandising such as t-shirts, hats, mugs and even products exclusive to our members. Speaking of which, our store also features a membership option where you can donate to helisimmer.com monthly. Among other perks, members will have discounts on the entire catalog and even the previously mentioned exclusive products not available to anyone else as a special thank you. Visit shop.helisimmer.com to find more. Parallel 42 released a freeware piece of software for Microsoft Flight Simulator called Simstaller. The company calls it quote unquote the ultimate installation utility for Microsoft Flight Simulator. Conflict should also be a thing of the past. As they say, Simstaller's innovative virtual file system scan feature swiftly detects these conflicts. Whether it's outlooking fonts, VFX or avionics issues, the tool identifies the culprits behind these overrides, empowering you with the knowledge of who is overriding what. You can download Parallel 42 to Simstaller for free at the company's website, check the link in the video description. A new European company emerged in the hardware market and it's bringing some new options for those looking for flight simulation controllers. Based in Lithuania, FC Technologies or Flicon Tech has arrived and it's bringing its first line of products, all based around its first joystick. There are five products, the EVO Base, EVO Grip, a desk mount, a universal adapter and their USB cable. All of these can also be bought as a bundle for 100 euros less than you would pay if you buy it all separately, so you'll pay 399 euros instead of 499 euros and 90 cents. Flicontech promises durable construction through the use of quote unquote aviation grade aluminum components and high precision. The joystick base also allows for the exchange of springs and cams, which can make the units interesting for helicopter pilots, which I hope to check out in the future. Take a look at the Flicontech website and check out this new company and their just released line of products. Link is in the video description. Poland became richer with inclusion of a couple of handcraft sceneries from a brand new developer called Simfocos. One is payware, the other one is a freeware. The payware is modeled after a quite recent AGMS base in Kokotov near Krakow, Poland. Simfocos says that in real life there's an H-135 there on duty 24-7 serving the lesser Poland region. This scenery is comprised not only of the base but also a couple of other helipads which you can download separately. You do purchase it all together but the downloads are separate just 
to be clear. Meanwhile, helipad Krakow Hotel Firo is the freeware scenery and it is and it is a civil helipad near the borders of Krakow, also in Poland. The helipad is quote unquote conveniently located near a highway, a three-star hotel, 10 minutes from Echo Papa Kilo Kilo Krakow Airport, but not limited by controlled airspace. Simfocus added a few nice features such as custom 3D building of the helipad, its hangar, the hotel, high resolution or the photos, terraforming and forest polygon corrections, as well as collidable power lines in the vicinity, so you have to be careful. According to the company, the pad is mostly visible by R44 size helicopters with an occasional H130 or H125 paying a visit. You can get both sceneries at the company's website, check out the link in the video description. We hope you enjoyed our exploration of helicopter flight simulation, remember to check out our playlist for more updates, I'll see you on the next video, until then take care and fly safe.